Good questions all around on stream today have been around like, hey, if I'm coming from MLB The Show or if I'm new to Ultimate Team, um, where do I attack Ultimate Team? Like, what do I start grinding? And I have to tell you from what I've seen at level 11 so far, I've put probably about 12 hours into Ultimate Team so far. Um, I stepped away from Ultimate Team after like 17 or 18 because I thought it was like getting way too money hungry. I thought it was getting way too annoying. The gameplay wasn't that good either. But... Overall, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time playing this Ultimate Team, grind-wise and gameplay-wise, and you were probably wondering how to get the best stuff, so let's talk about that here. So first of all, um, the number one question I've seen on my stream, and you might, if you're watching this YouTube video, you might be like, why do I not see that? You have to get to level 3 to play online, so that's been a common question, like where do I see head-to-head? -head? If you're not Mutt level 3, so this also pertains a lot to the people who are getting it on Friday. If you're not Mutt level 3, you can't play online, so how do you get to level 3? Well, I would jump into challenges right away, this is where the best uh, XP is to me. And what I would jump into right away is team captains and headliners. So team captains, if I go over here, but that team captain program, I have an 88 overall starting cornerback in Eric Allen because of all the challenges that I've grinded in that team captain promo. So let's just, for example, show off the team captain program and what you have to do. So when you, when you get here, you have the top tab, which says milestones, which is basically your progress bar. If you go here, it shows exactly what you get for each tier. And then you have the actual moments down here. Now, one of the beauties about M or, uh, excuse me, one of the beauties about EA, uh, and Madden, uh, ultimate team compared to a game like MLB the show that I play is that you have selective tiers and missions within every single moment. So let's say you don't consider yourself a very good player. You might want to jump into this new high efficiency moment at easy. You might want to just say the goal of this mission is to complete four passes in six plays. I'm going to chill there. Maybe you want to sweat it out a little bit more. You want to amp it up all the way to hard and you want to go for that bonus mission of four passes in four plays. There's a lot of different ways to play these moments and kind of go after it. And as you see here, um, the difficulty changes as you move on. Uh, rookie here, all pro here, then pro here. So you have different ways to attack moments. And again, the, the reason and the incentive to go for the top brow is that you want to get all the way down to like the XP tokens, some more coins as well. Like there's incentive to go crazy. It's not just you're going crazy to go crazy. And then for the headliner program, you might be like headliner XP. Like, what does that really mean? Like, why? Like, what am I getting with headliner XP? So when we talk about a headliner program. You're like, what do I get with headliner XP? Well, when you go here, you see your reward path. So the XP helps you level up in said program. And right now I'm at level six. So I just earned 86 overall Derek Brown. I keep grinding the headliner program. I'm going to get more cards more XP, more coins. There's heavy incentive to grind this out like crazy. And there's also missions to grind within these programs as well. There's the house rules. There's the headliner program itself, which is just getting stats in game. There's the rewards. I mean, it's a very well thought out system that EA's put in place with the game, the, the battle pass is what you could call it. But you have three different battle passes. You have uh, the headliner program right now, which I mentioned you get XP for. I'd grind that probably before captains. Now that I say that, let's go headliners and then team captains. But you also, if you play online, you have a competitive ladder to grind and the actual XP ladder as well. So uh, there's a lot to do in the game right now. But if I were just jumping in, I'm getting some rewards here. But if I were just jumping into the game, I would jump on challenges right away. But if you do have an itch to play online and you want to get after it, what are some things you should do? I would recommend right away because of the XP in the highlighter or the headliner program, rather, that you go into house rules right away. But if you're like me and you want to sweat it out online, I've sucked so far. I'm three and four so far in weekend league. But uh, there's a lot of different ways to play. You can play standard seasons, all Madden seasons, Mutt Champs, obviously. You can play some friends and squad seasons. Uh, so if you're playing and you're wanting to go online, new, newly online, I definitely go for house rules. Also, one last tidbit as well. If you guys are pre-ordering the all man edition, I'm never going to advocate for you guys to put money in the game. This is uh, a, a question referred to if you buy the all man edition. So in the store, it'd be right here, but I purchased it, is this thing right 
here. So when you pre-order the All Man Edition, you get 4,600 points. You can use 4,400 of those points to get a pack that contains an offensive and a defensive full core elite team along with 100,000 coin quick sell. So, for example, I chose to go on offense. I chose to go on offense with the run and gun, and on defense, I chose to go with the pass rush. And now if you look at my team, a lot of my elites that I have are thanks to that bundle that I got for just pre-ordering the All Man Edition. So again, if you have the All Man Edition, I highly recommend you picking up those, uh, like start with the core elite team. And then obviously you build up as you play and earn some cards. But I mean, having a full elite team to start is super beneficial. I highly, highly recommend going after that bundle. Again, if you purchase the All Man Edition, if you did not, I ain't going to advocate for you to put money in the game. That's just my two cents there. The last question that a lot of people could be having is, what if I don't want to play challenges? What if I don't want to play online? What if I just want to play against the computer? How do I do that? Well, luckily for you, we have solo battles, and that's just exactly what it is. So what you're doing in solo battles is you're playing against the computer. Uh, you're also playing for a very good amount of rewards, and the same idea process behind their moments on how you can choose to go easy or go hard is here as well. Because you have all of your opponents to play. I've only played one of the games. I'm getting a sub from FSU, man. I appreciate it so much. So in solo battles, you have, as of right now, four games to play. This is all against the computer. So my first game, I, I was really tired last night. Just wanted to get a game in for fun. I played against them on Rookie. I won 53 nothing. So that was fun. I had a certain amount of points for that win. If I want to grind for better rewards, so there's two different ways to look at it. If I want to grind for better rewards, I play against the 49ers here. I choose to go up to legend difficulty. So you get a higher score for playing at a higher difficulty, a lower score for a lower one. And then you get rewards based on finishing the top 100 for your score. For uh, So think of this essentially as like offline weekend league, if you will. So you have a sweaty way to play offline and a sweaty way to play online. You also vice versa have a comfortable way to play online and a comfortable way to play offline. Solo battles is a phenomenal thing to go after to get you some coins in your inventory for sure. But again, I'm going to be posting a lot more videos on Madden on my YouTube channel. So if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Like the video if you guys have not already. Like the video and commenting are like the number two things you do to help boost a video out. And I am relatively new at posting Madden content on my YouTube. So if you guys uh, would like to, if you guys would like to share this around, I'd appreciate that a lot. But guys, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, W, done. Um, so if I know I don't want to push for top 100, should I just play them on a really low difficulty? 100%. It, like, well, I mean, like, like in theory, let's say you play the first game and you win uh, on rookie. Maybe this game you want to play on pro. Maybe you want to test it that way. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to just a chill time pummeling the CPU, go play on rookie and have a good time, man.